Hi guys, greetings of the day, myself Vijay Tavardhan and in this video lecture session I am going to show you a solution on projection of plane surfaces. And the problem is like this, uh, the front view of a rectangular lamina of sides 30 mm by 20 mm is a square of 20 mm sides. Draw the projections and determine the inclination of the surface of the lamina with HP and BP. So one can understand that the front view is supposed to be obtained as a square of 20 mm sides hence we should start the lamina with respect to the a lamina is parallel to VP first and 30 by 20 millimeter is going to be a square of 20 millimeter and it is inclined to both the planes. Now according to the given condition uh, how to solve the problem let us discuss. Now using an XY line sorry using a line command one has to draw an XY line whose thickness is 0.13 millimeter and mark the respective endpoints of X and Y line and then mark the first quadrant that is uh, marking VP by HP and after which now go to a rectangle command since we know that uh, the square is to be a uh, 20 mm sides which, which is a rectangle of 30 by 20 millimeter initially and after inclination it is inclined to both HP VP hence for 30 mm is a height we have to consider 20 mm is a word uh, we have to consider in the front plane. So, what the letters consider it as 20 millimeter and height as 30 millimeter and angle as 0, one has to construct that rectangle in the front view and this rectangle becomes the square of 20 by 20 at an angle of 0 degree in the front view that is initially it is 30 by 20 becomes 30, 20 by 20 and then when it is inclined to both the plane, so one has to construct an x1 y1 line and after doing the construction of x1 y1 line, now you know that this height, this height is going to be at this location and in the side view, I am going to get that this is going to be fallen to this height. Now what is going to be fallen to this height? This side is going to be fallen to the height over here so one has to extend the 20 by 20 is going to be on the right profile plane so now uh, the top and front views are always supposed to be a dark so we'll change the thickness to 0 0.5 millimeter then let me change this front view also to 5 millimeter and this front view on top views so of the front views has to be named properly so before that uh, make use of uh, smart dimensions or distance between and show that these dimensions are 20 by 50 mm sorry 20 by 30 mm and then make use of uh, the smart dimension once again and show that this dimension is 20 and this dimension is also 20 after which uh, make use of a text command and name the respective corner and this corner could be named as a dash and this corner could be named as b dash and this corner will be named as c dash and this corner could be named as d dash accordingly after rotation this will be named as a dash and this is going to be the b dash and this is going to be the c dash and this is going to be the d dash now both views when it is going to be projected this points at this location will be treated as d double dash however c double dash is not going to be visible and initial condition this point will be a double dash as well as B double dash. Now this A double dash B double dash in the side view it is going to look like an height of 30 millimeter and when it is going to be inclined now you can see the plane is perpendicular to horizontal plane. Now the plane is inclined to both HP VP then the uh, dimensions of the square dimensions of the top view front view is going to be a square of 20 millimeter. Now how to solve this problem, so go to a line command, sorry, R command with 0.13 mm thick. Consider D double dash, C double dash as the fixed point and A double dash and B double dash as the point, uh, reference point and this point is shifting towards this line that is which is falling in the right side view, sorry left side view on the right profile plane. So let us mark it as RPP and LSV. And which is falling over here and now after this falling now this is inclined to both HP VP and what should be this inclination one has to construct that inclination now 
make use of a line command join the side view properly that is this is going to be d double dash c double dash and this is going to be a double dash b double dash after inclination so make use of a text command mark this point as a double dash as well as b double dash after inclination and after marking these necessary things after marking these necessary things now one has to measure the inclination between these two planes and this inclination is going to be the angle theta and these two inclination is going to be the angle theta which is measuring as 42 degree and the angle between these two line is called as angle phi which is measuring as 48 degree now i can say that this completes the uh, determination of uh, determine the inclination of the surface of the lamina with hp and vp is polished but draw the projections projections means front and top views should be drawn and we have drawn only the front view top view is not yet drawn to draw the top view one has to go to the line command with the thickness of 0 0.13 millimeter from this intersection uh, one has to draw a 45 degree inclination line so let us draw a 45 degree inclination line <coughs> And after drawing this 45 degree inclination line, so make use of a text command with respect to this point, it has marked as x1, y1, which was not marked earlier. So we'll mark it. And then uh, make use of a line command with a thickness of 0 0.13. This a double dash, b double dash is going to be obtained on the 45 degree line. And then a double dash, a dash is going to be obtained here. And according to that, B dash is also going to be extended here. And now, uh, B, D double dash, C double dash will be on the X, Y line. Now, according to that, when we are going to start giving the names, this corner will become D, this corner will become C, and this corner will become B, and this corner will become A. Then make use of a line command with a thickness of 0 0.5 millimeter. One has to complete the top view that is starting from A, join B, join C and join D and get back to A. So this completes the projection in all aspects as per the given conditions. Now, if you have any doubts, you can contact me at this number at any point of time. Thanks for watching this video and please do subscribe to my channels and also share this video to all the first year engineering students. Thank you once again.